dot time. So now our journey is going to end back where it started. We're back at the beginning with you and the choice you've got to make. Now that you know the facts about climate change, are you going to do nothing? Or are you going to do something? Do one thing. And you're taking the first step, declaring that you're in. You're not just letting the future happen to you. You and hundreds of thousands of people like you are making the future. So, what's your dot? Let's check out a few to get you started. I was really surprised to find out that a lot of greenhouse gases actually come from meat production. Basically, the more meat we eat, the more pollution there is. So, I've decided to try to eat less meat in my life. I mean, you don't have to be a total vegetarian. You can go meatless once a week or even just do vegetarian lunches. Eating is something we do every day, so it really adds up and makes a difference. As a young person, I think social media is really important because it allows people to connect with people all around the world. I use social media to speak up about climate change. It's so easy to tap a button and share with my friends. Oh, and don't forget, you've got your science blogs. You blog about this stuff and then use social media to share it. You're getting the world out there. You are helping. Just like the public service announcement we did for the hydrodynamic challenge, you can make a public service announcement for climate change and focus on the solutions. What can we do to make it better? It's my chance to speak out and let others know about the issues that I care about. I'm registering to vote to have my voice heard. Our representatives are elected by young people like me, and it's important to let politicians know what young people think. We care about climate change and the environment. I definitely plan on voting on the next election so my voice can count. We have to get people talking about climate change. This is our future we're talking about. I talk to my mom, my sister, and my friends. I'm not an expert, but I can share my own story about why I care. And I can listen to theirs too. How are we going to fix climate change if we're not even talking about it? Alright, now it's your turn. Peace. Thank you for doing one thing and stepping up for our future. One person can't fix climate change alone, but a movement can. You're now a part of that movement. That felt good. I could choose dots all day long. You? Definitely. I just chose three more right now. <laughs> I guess that's do three things. Show up. Here's what you do next. So you're still on the climate change quest assignment. And hopefully, you already had your Google Classroom document open. And this is where you've been taking your notes. Uh, we still have to do oceans, so I'll show you how to get back to that one. But I want to focus on the dot. Once you've got all your notes here, um, and, and uh, really important to write down what you think here, so you can keep your facts and your feelings and opinions separate. Remember, in science, we're mostly focused on the facts. But I do want you to deal with your uh, feelings and opinions. But once you're done, as always, you go to Google Classroom and turn it in. Because that will allow you to complete the task here. And remember, you got to close out, go back in. Once you go to task, you can complete the task. And there's where you'll find your ace dot. And this is where you're going to share your dot. So what is it that you're going to do? You can pick three things like that guy did, or you can just pick your one thing and then share your one thing here. Um, and then you can go back to assignment. I'm going to discard it and let me know that you shared. So I know to look in the discussion and then submit. That's it. That's how you do your one thing. Once you get your one thing done, go back to Google Classroom and don't forget to unsubmit. Because when you unsubmit, you can go back here and finish your uh, ocean acidification notes, which we have to add here. And remember, this uh, you can type as much as you want because... Fix that. This can go forever. It's a Google document, so you can just keep on typing. So don't worry that you're like, I don't have enough room for my notes. No, your notes can go on forever. And that's how you do it. So let's get to uh, choosing your one thing and moving on to ocean acidification.